participants and today we are going to discuss about the preparation methods of hydrocarbons particularly alkanes we will discuss the so hydrocarbons so first alkane second alkenes third alkynes afterwards we will discuss aromatic compounds okay so now first preparation methods of so alkanes already you know alkanes are very much useful in our day to day life right so what are the main sources of alkane so for us the alkanes main sources number one is they are present in the petroleum petroleum most of the alkanes present in the petroleum is a main source and the second source of the alkanes is that uh, natural gas natural gas is the second source alkanes are present in the petroleum and in the natural gas so and some of the plants also will produce the alkanes already you are aware of that plants where that produce that are alkanes hydrocarbons so that's why uh, those plants easily burn so their uh, dry wood easily burn because of the alkanes hydrocarbons but so there are some industrial preparation methods of alkanes that we have to discuss so what are those uh, methods means number one is so the hydrogenation process hydrogenation process the hydrogenation process of unsaturated unsat means hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons so what is unsaturated uh, hydrogenation process we'll discuss next to number 2 preparation of al alkanes from alkyl halides alkyl halides so preparation of alkyl halides is done by two methods one is uh, by using the zinc plus hcl so second one is by using the uh, wood reaction wood reaction is it alkyl halides so means so alkanes can be prepared by, from the alkyl halides by two methods in the presence of zinc and uh, hcl and by using wood reaction the famous reaction is wood reaction the third one is so third one is decarboxylation process decarboxylation of decarboxylation of carboxylic 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 acid salts by using soda lime by using soda lime so this is the third preparation and the fourth preparation method also there the pro fourth one is so kolb the scientist name kolb's kolb's electrolytic method electrolytic method so kolb's electrolytic method four methods we need to discuss so number one is hydrogenation number two is alkyl from alkyl halides number three is decarboxylation of carboxylic acid salts by using soda lime and the fourth one is kolb's electrolytic method so we will discuss the first method is hydrogenation process so in hydrogenation process so so we need the catalyst uh, uh, transition metal catalyst nickel palladium cladinum are the catalyst we need so means the hydrogenation process is done in the presence of nickel platinum palladium platinum or the temperature is just above the room temperature just we have to use the temperature at what temperature we have to use mean just above the room temperature we have to use and in this hydrogenation process so we select unsaturated hydrocarbon 
unsaturated hydrocarbon what is this unsaturated hydrocarbon this is uh, ethene so when ethene uh, when ethene is uh, treated with the hydrogen gas hydrogen gas so when ethene is uh, treated with this hydrogen gas in the presence of this nickel palladium platinum upon heating just above the room temperature so ethene changes into ethene changes into saturated hydrocarbon called ethene will get ethene will get so double bond disappears if i take uh, the compound uh, so what is the compound here i am taking this is called propene so when this propene is subjected with the hydrogenation process in the presence of same catalyst uh, upon heating just above the room temperature you will get the compound ch3 ch2 ch3 propane you will get so here addition of hydrogen molecule to this unsaturated unsaturated uh, alkenes to form the saturated compounds is said to be hydrogenation process hydrogenation we say and uh, so here we can do this hydrogenation process for alkynes also alkynes if you take ethyne ethyne subjected to hydrogenation in the presence of four moles of h2 so if it is hydrogenation is done in two steps first step you will get ch2 double bond ch2 the second step again further subjected to hydrogenation you will get ch3 ch3 you will get ethane you will get alkynes so when the alkanes are subjected to hydrogenation process you will get first step in uh, alkene you will get second step you will get the alkane so it, it should uh, you means we should add the hydrogen four moles so we should add to this alkyne then we'll get the saturated hydrocarbon means so we will get alkanes by hydrogenation process so same process if you reverse and uh, same process if you reverse so dehydrogenation process then you'll get the unsaturated hydrocarbons reverse process dehydrogenation and uh, forward is uh, hydrogenation process this is the first progression method of alkenes and now so let me talk about the second preparation method of alkenes from alkyl uh, halides can anyone give example for alkyl halides anybody can give the example for alkyl halide what is alkyl halide no answer devarshi are you listening or not listening what is alkyl halide premlata one bromo methyl chlorine bromine so if you take uh, yeah ch3 br bromo methane c2h5 cl chloroethane so these are the alkyl halides we say if these alkyl halides are uh, treated with so uh, treated with so what is that compound you know zn plus hcl when zinc react with the hydrochloric acid it releases so what it releases means hydrogen gas comes out and this hydrogen gas when treated with this with this chbr and uh, c ccl or with the carbon and chlorine and carbon and bromine so what happen means we'll get ch4 plus hbr will get we'll get the methane when this here hydrogen gas is added so what we'll get means in the presence of zn plus hcl 
you will get C2, H6 will get plus, HCl will get. So what happened in the reaction mechanism? If you see, so uh, here is the six carbon is bonded with the halogen. So when hydrogen bond is broken heterolytically, one positive, other one is a negative, the positive one, so this positive uh, will react with this, this also break up heterolytically. So this Br will combine with this positive and this hydride is going to this uh, alkyl chain. Then, so here hydrogen and here the HeBr is formed. Heterolytic mechanism base. So on the basis of heterolytic mechanism, so this reaction. As you know that zinc uh, reacts with hydrochloric acid, then it releases hydrogen gas. This hydrogen gas combined with this, so to form this methane and ethane, we can prepare alkenes by this process from the alkyl halides. ZNH to HCl. The third reaction method, very famous uh, reaction methods, we say this is Wood's reaction. This is a famous reaction for the preparation of uh, alkane. So Wood's reaction, by using the Wood's reaction, we prepare so alkanes in easy manner. Alkanes will prepare. Saturated hydrocarbons will prepare by using that Wood's reaction. What is the Wood's reaction means? So wood reaction the will take what is that you know will take the compound rcl alkyl halide how many moles of alkyl halides two moles will take in the presence of sodium metal and uh, r so cl again alkyl halide plus sodium alkyl halide this reaction is done in the presence of dry ether why dry ether is needed in this reaction? And the dry ether free from water, free from water, H2O. Why what is not required in this reaction? So why the so dry ether must be free from that water? Because we are dealing with the sodium metal. If you take water, means what happened? The reaction will deviate. You can't get the desired product. So as you know that sodium has affinity for this uh, chlorine, sodium has affinity for this uh, chlorine. And uh, this reaction will be done based on the free radical. So this reaction proceeds uh, based on the free radical base, free radical mechanism. So here, so what happened means the chlorine and uh, two, so two sodium atoms and the chlorine, these will combine. And the free radicals of these alkyl halides will combine together to form so alkane. <coughs> Let me take example for this CH3 so Cl methyl chloromethane. This is chloromethane plus two sodium plus chloromethane chloromethane. So upon uh, treating with this in the presence of dry ether, so dry ether what happened means this chlorine, sodium will combine with the two chlorine atoms, the leftover methyl groups will combine to form CH3, CH3, ethane is formed. So here, uh, if you take chloromethane and the chloromethane, you'll get the ethane. And if you want to get the butane, so what should be the alkyl halides? Now you can tell if you want to prepare the butane. Are you listening to Chloro me? Chloro? Ethane. So we must take the alkyl halide, chloroethane, we must take. Excellent. So chloroethane I am taking now. So what is the compound? C2H5Cl plus sodium metal plus Cl C2H5. In the presence of dry ether, what is the here? Ether is uh, 
Now it has non-polar character. So this reaction is done in the absence of water, free from moisture. Moisture is not required. So as you know that the sodium metal reacts with the halogens and the free radicals of both alkyl groups will combine to forms. So what are that C2 HFI, C2 HFI? What is the name of this compound? This is a butane or not? Butane. Butane is prepared. That means if you take the alkyl halides having the carbon atoms less number, but you'll get the double number. That means you are getting higher alkanes, are you getting or not? Higher alkanes? Yes, sir. If you, if you take that ethyl, ethyl chloride, ethyl chloride, two carbon, uh, so alkyl halides are producing that to what means then the butane, higher alkanes we are getting. Similarly, if I take uh, chloromethane plus uh, sodium chloroethane, so what will be the products? So dry ether, the presence of dry ether, non-polar solvent, uh, so it is uh, free from water. So what are the compounds? Now we can guess what will be the products. One mole and uh, one mole of uh, uh, chloromethane, one mole of so chloroethane, and in the presence of two moles of sodium. So what will be the so what will be the if the all these are taken the reaction chamber? What will be the products? Propane. What is the answer? Propane. Propane. So answer will be CH3, CH2, CH3, propane is a possible. So and again, what is a possible means again, one more ethane also possible. And again, what is that possible other compound? C, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, butane also possible. How come? Means the major product will be propane. Propane is a possible, propane and uh, ethane is a possible and butane also possible, butane also possible means so when the chloromethane and chloroethane are treated with the sodium metal in the presence of dry ether, we can get propane major quantity and uh, ethane will get and butane. So alkane mixture will get. We uh, we will get alkane mixture. If you take so different alkyl halides, and if you take same alkyl halides, you'll get only single product of butane. You'll get. What is the reason? That means if you take symmetrical alkyl halides you will get only single desired product you will get but if you take unsymmetrical alkyl halides one is a chloromethane and other one is a, so different alkyl halide what is that means so, so chloroethane if you take so we will get three products will get alkane mixture one is a propane second one is ethane third one is a butane what is the reason can anyone guess The reason is that what is the reason means in the if you take so different alkyl halides in the reaction chamber there is a possibility of oh, chloromethane and sodium so will interact so there is a possibility of oh, chloroethane and sodium will be the interaction so and there is a possibility of chloromethane and chloroethane with the sodium also possibility means so chloromethane chloromethane versus sodium chloroethane chloroethane versus the sodium and uh, chloromethane and uh, so chloroethane versus the sodium so three types of uh, reactions are uh, means uh, collisions are possible between the sodium so due to this uh, we can get uh, so propane and um, uh, ethane and the butane will get 
when the sodium metal interact with the chloroethane molecules we will get the butane when the sodium metal react with the interact with the chloromethane uh, we will get the ethane when the sodium metal interact with the both molecules chloromethane and chloroethane we will get the propane so that's why wood's reaction and applicable to applicable to so symmetrical alkyl halides symmetrical alkyl halides matlab you must take the alkyl halides in similar molecules not dissimilar so and uh, by using this woods reaction we prepare so alkanes but we must take symmetrical alkyl halides not unsymmetrical because if you take unsymmetrical what happen you, you will get a different uh, so uh, alkane mixture you get not a desired product i hope wood reaction is a clear yes sir yes sir. and after this so after this very very important reaction uh, we use this reaction uh, more in convergence we use so what is this reaction means decarboxylation decarboxylation of decarboxylation of so sodium sodium salt of sodium salt of carboxylic acid sodium salt of carboxylic acids okay you give example for the sodium salt of carboxylic acid ch3 c double bond o o any is it right this is what is the name of the salt sodium ethanoate sodium ethanoate is the name of the salt when this salt is uh, treated with this uh, NaOH sodium hydroxide so and in the presence of calcium oxide upon heating so in the presence of calcium oxide and the sodium hydroxide this mixture is said to be what we call means NaOH NaOH plus calcium oxide mixture is called soda lime soda lime we say in the presence of soda lime when the salt is heated so heated what happen means so we will get the bond breakdown will takes place where the bond will break down means decarboxylation co2 aayega so then one of the hydrogen from this so base ch3 ch4 plus uh, uh, na2 co3 will get means the co2 so will combine with this uh, uh, sodium and na2co3 will form so this reaction is said to be decarboxylation reaction we say and always you see in this uh, so reaction uh, the sodium salt of carboxylic acid having two carbons but you will get the product uh, alkene you will get one carbon one carbon will be less than the <coughs> carboxylic acid so methane can be prepared from this sodium ethanoate and if i want to prepare ethane tell me what kind of salt we should what salt we should take ch3 ch2 coo na what is the name of this salt can you guess sodium propanoate sodium propanoate the sodium propanoate treated with this naoh plus cao so then what will get upon heating what will be the alkene you will be getting guess now the bond breakdown here so one of the hydrogen from the base will be added here so then ch3 ch3 plus na2 co3 you will get what is the alkene we got if you take sodium propanoate ethane ethane so ethane so how many carbon molecule this so ethane two two and in propanoate sodium propanoate how many carbons are there three so three, three. so here the three carbon compound is converted into two carbon compound in most of the organic convergence 
so decreasing for the decreasing of carbon atoms for the decreasing of carbon atoms so we use this reaction decarboxylation process and if you want to get propane propane hydrocarbon so which salt we need which salt we should take sodium butanoate sodium butanoate and the next very very important reaction also there so kolb's uh, electro electro lytic uh, method of preparation of alkanes in this method we must take the salt is that sodium ethanoate aqua solution sodium ethanoate two moles of sodium ethanoate aqua solution we must take so this is subjected to electrolysis in the presence of water in the presence of water when electricity is passed into this solution into this salt solution is this is organic salt and into this organic salt when current is passed so through the electrodes what happen means so this salt will undergo decomposition in the decomposition process it can produce what are the anion amines so acetate two moles of acetate plus two moles of sodium plus ions will get when the sodium acetate subjected to electrolysis so then it will decompose into acetate ions plus sodium ions it will decompose ionization so after this after this step so next what happen means these respective ions will move toward their cathode and anode means to the electrodes now you can see the two moles of acetate ions will move to where means to the anode and this will break up into 2CH3 free radical plus means here anode will take the elect uh, anode means at the anode what happen means two electrons are given out here two electrons are given out then it will become into free radical methyl free radical plus CO2 gas will come out at the anode CO2 gas will come out got it everyone CO2 gas is released and after that next step what happened these two methyl radicals two methyl radicals combine together to form so CH3 CH2 CH3 ethane is produced at anode ethane gas is liberated clear everyone so here this bond so acetate ion at the anode break up homolytically this is homolytic fusion then here methyl free radicals two methyl free radicals are formed these two electrons are given to the anode so then what happen means here the co2 molecule come out okay so here and uh, so two methyl free radicals combine together to form ethane so after this so one more step so and uh, here water also present in this if the water so when the water will uh, interact with that electron free electron and what happen means it will break up into h minus plus hydrogen free radicals are produced and if you take two moles then uh, two moles of hydrogen free radicals you will get and two moles of hydrogen free radicals combine together to form hydrogen gas so this hydrogen gas is produced at the cathode hydrogen gas is liberated at the cathode then this hydroxyl ions and two moles of hydroxyl ions combine with this two moles of sodium and will form into NaOH two moles of NaOH is also produced 
At the cathode, hydrogen gas is liberated. At the anode, CO2 gas is liberated. At the anode, methane, ethane gas also liberated. Alkene also liberated. But at the cathode, what is produced? It means hydrogen gas. But at the container, means at the bottom of the container, sodium hydroxide is produced. That means in the Kolb electrolysis method, in the Kolb electrolysis method, the two moles of sodium acetate, two moles of sodium acetate subjected to electrolysis, we will get ethane gas plus CO2 gas plus hydrogen gas plus sodium hydroxide will get. How many products will get means four products will get. So when the sodium acetate aqueous solution subjected to electrolysis, which electrolysis electrolytic process of Kolb. So then we'll get ethane. So then second one will get CO2 gas. Third one will get hydrogen gas. And fourth one is uh, sodium hydroxide also will get. These many products will get. Means so, and uh, if you want to, is that a methane uh, preparation possible by this electrolysis method? No, sir. Methane gas is not possible because so you can't get the radicals. Means methyl radicals you cannot get. Only and uh, when the sodium acetate subjected to electrolysis, you will get ethane and if you take sodium propanoate, sodium propanoate, if you take, what will be the alkane? Can you guess? The sodium propanoate subjected to Kolb's electrolytic process, what will be the alkane that you get? Two moles of sodium propanoate. Not getting. The propane. Propane or butane. The CH3 C double bond here is. Is it a propane, propanoate, sodium propanoate? Sodium propanoid formula? Yes, so sir. Where the bond will be? Where the bond will break down here, no? These are the free radicals. How many free radicals are possible? CH3, CH2, free radical 1, one more, CH2, CH3, one more free radical is formed, no? Then these two will combine to form what will be the product? CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. What is the name of the compound? Alkane. Butane. 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 So then, uh, and in this, you will get CO2 gas plus sodium hydroxide. Banega. Yes, sir. Plus hydrogen gas also. Milega apko. C. This OH and this hydrogen gas that will come from the water. The CO2 NA will come from this salt. So this method is called Kolb's so electro electrolytic process. In this, so the free radical generation also takes place. Free radical generation. Those ethyl free radical. Methyl free radical. In this process, here is a methyl free radical. Free radicals means what is a free radical? Alkyl group having single electron. So, which is energetic particle, reaction intermediate particle, we say. I hope it is a clear Kolb's electrolytic method. So by using Kolb electrolytic method, we will prepare the alkanes, ethane, butane will prepare. So, but it is not possible to prepare the methane.
After that, next alkane. So physical properties. So after preparation, alkanes. So we we'll, are going to discuss about uh, physical properties of physical properties of alkanes. Since alkanes are saturated, saturated hydrocarbons. Since alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. So between carbon carbon there is a single bond between carbon hydrogen also there is a uh, so CH bonds CH bonds if you observe so around the carbon there is homogeneous environment is present and if you look at the carbon between carbon hydrogen electronegative difference so very less so if you uh, look at this electronegative difference between hydrogen and the carbon electronegative difference is very less. Since electronegative difference is very less means so most of the alkanes are non-polar in nature, non-polar in nature. So since the carbon hydrogen is non-polar and CC bond also non-polar, generally what happen means these alkanes are so insoluble, insoluble in water, insoluble in water. That means all saturated hydrocarbons have the property hydrophobic property we say hydrophobic property and if you take the so alkanes so where n value equal to 1 methane so means the alkanes having carbon atoms number c12 c4 are liquids Sorry, C1 to C4 are said to be gases. C1 to C4 are gases. Means methane is a gas, ethane is a gas, propane is a gas, butane is a gas. But if you start from the C5, alkanes having the carbon atom C5 to C so 14 or C14 and C15. So up to this, our alkanes are liquids. And above C15 to C20 are solids. Means alkanes like methane, ethane, propane, butane are gases at the room temperature. Alkanes so having the carbon atom starting from 5 to 12, so uh, 14 up to 14 and 15 are the liquids. And if the alkanes having the carbon atom 15 above, so 15 above are said to be solids. We can see the candle, candle wax. Candle wax having the solid hydrocarbons, we say. Basically, alkanes are insoluble in water. And in which compounds the alkanes are soluble? Can you guess? The alcohol. In which uh, solvents uh, alkanes are soluble means the solvents like benzene, solvents like CCL4, carbon tetrachloride are in organic solvents, are in petroleum. They are highly soluble in the petroleum like that. And uh, if you observe the melting points uh, and uh, boiling points of uh, alkanes, the melting points and boiling points of alkanes always less. What is the reason? The melting and boiling points of alkanes is less because so it means if you observe the melting boiling points of alkanes, means so they have weak van der Waal forces. Weak van der Waal forces among them. Van der Waal forces. But if you observe the alkanes from methane to ethane, and uh, if you take uh, means C12, 
so c ten if you observe so since the molecular mass increases melting point and boiling points also increases that means the melting point and boiling point increasing of melting point increasing of the boiling point depends upon the increasing of molecular mass so means it means methane so has uh, a less boiling point than the ethane and the propane is more butane is more like that it means so increasing of molecular mass also increases the boiling point but very important the point i would like to add what is that means if you take butane and uh, normal butane if you take and isobutane if you take isobutane you can if you take so isobutane has a less boiling point than the normal butane what could be the reason so here normal butane will form strong van der waals forces than the isobutane symmetry of arrangement to form the bulk structure possible where normal butane and similarly if you take the isomers of pentane how many isomers of pentane you will get how many isomers of pentane you, you will get normal pentane ch3 ch2 CH2, CH2, CH3. This is normal pentane. Has more boiling point than second one is. What is that second one? Isopentane. So there are three in total. So then there will be a plus sign like uh, CH3, C, and then once more CH3. Neopentane. CH3, CH3. Neopentane. Neopentane uh, is the third isomer. Out of three isomers, isomeric forms of the pentane, which one has the maximum boiling point? Which one has the minimum boiling point? Can you guess? Sir, and pentane has maximum melting point. Normal. <laughs> so normal one will have that more uh, boiling point than the second one. Then the third one has the least because what could be the reason you will write? So normal one will form more strong van der Waals forces because of symmetrical uh, arrangement uh, easily will make the bulky arrangement. As the molecules come closer, attraction forces will be more because less space is uh, uh, left in their arrangement. But here second one is since the branch one, so space of adjustment uh, means while that molecules are adjusted, gaps will be more than uh, van der Waals forces will be less. And here, in case of third one, what happened means the while the molecules arranging. So what happened means space is left to more, and uh, between them gaps will be more. Automatically, what happened means van der Waals forces will decrease. So van der Waals forces will be strong in the first case and uh, less and very less. So that's why so I, neopentane has that uh, uh, less boiling point than the two methyl. Butane, then the pentane, normal pentane. That is the order. So, in in case of isomers, what happen means branched structures have less boiling point than the straight chain due to the van der Waals forces, weak van der Waals forces. Okay, so thank you and time up. I think so. Do the follow up reading. Preparation methods of alkanes just to refer, and today I'll make one assignment. So, thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, sir. You, sir. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.